So if you skeptical, you like, I don't know if I can stay in a $30 Airbnb. I don't know if I can go that low. Look, I'm doing it for you. I'm here. Gotta see how the bed. Oh, the bed giving comfy. The bed giving comfy. But if you see my other video, you know they, they're a little tricky with these beds. But you gotta be careful because these Airbnbs, they're a little slick. I ain't never seen no hand lotions <laughs> so liquefied. You can see the way the door is set up. I was having second thoughts, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, I was having second thoughts. <laughs> What's up my beautiful people? I just touched down on my Airbnb. I'ma give you guys a tour. You know I keep that budget low. I'll show you the Airbnb I got for $32 out here in Mexico. We gonna see, did I make a good choice? I don't know. Right now I'm feeling a little skeptical about it, but we gonna get to it. So first thing first, it's the outside. This is what I pulled up to, no cap. So you can't even see the sidewalk from here, but the sidewalk is like right out there. Basically, it's tucked in the cut, and we had to call the owner like two, three times just to get in this place. So, boom, they got this little living room area. Um, it's kind of like, I don't know, like a flat, I want to say. I mean, it's a studio, obviously, but like you can see the way the door is set up. I was having second thoughts, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie, I was having second thoughts. <laughs> got this little common area. I don't know what you do here because the view is to the door. So, I mean, I guess you could just sit and drink type of vibe. Uh, let me find the lights. And here we got the, of course, we got the kitchen, the main area. Got a nice little, I guess, Tulumish thing going on, world map. AC, it's not, I mean, it's at 16, but it feel like it's at 22, 23. Not busting, how it should be busting. They got a humble little, humble little bathroom. That's me, what up? <laughs> but you gotta be careful, because these Airbnbs, they're a little slick. I ain't never seen no hand lotions <laughs> so liquefied. This is what you call 20% liquid. This is what you call 20% soap, 80% water. Gotta see how the bed. Oh, the bed giving comfy. The bed giving comfy. But if you see my other video, you know they, they're a little tricky with these beds. Okay, this is dope. Dope little bed. The owner was nice enough to leave me some water. That's always nice. If you're an Airbnb host watching this video, leave your guests water, man. We be thirsty when we touch down. We be thirsty. Plates and everything set up up there. Fridge, nothing in there though. And of course I got in my bottom. The same, the same Medellin. It's big bottom, big bottom. We on vacation. Even if you're on your couch, we on vacation. So both look, my last video, it got a lot of pushback. What happened was, people told me, you can't fit nothing in that bag. One girl told me she only felt hair products in here. I'm gonna show y'all exactly what's in this bag. And we gonna get ready, cause I gotta hit the streets. So look, um, first is three compartments. The back compartment, boom. And I took some stuff out already. But the back compartment, I threw the laptop in there. And throw, you know what I'm saying, the charger in that back compartment. The front compartment, even though y'all probably can't see it, I got it. You know what I'm saying? This, this is like my, uh, what you call it? Not toilet treats, but like, you know what I'm saying? You wash up, you smell good and all that. Got that in here. I got that gift right. I done told y'all before, if you forget this, just go home, bro. Ain't no vacation. Ain't no vacation if you don't got this banger, this right here. And you need that JBL. Yeah, yeah. Got the check, JBL. Yeah. Get this JBL. And here is compartment. You can fit all of your under, you know what I'm saying, your undergarments. You know what I'm saying? I got a, uh, I ain't gonna even put a pair of things. Shorts in here. Here's yeah, shorts in here. I'm not trying to unpack it, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to change my life. But, um, yeah, man, you could fit all of your underwear in here. This is a good compartment to put your underwear. 
They got this front button, this front pocket. I put my passport in here. And it's not here, so I got to see where my passport at. But uh, there I put my passport. Here I use for wires. You know what I'm saying? For wires, anything you need there. Then, so this is like the second compartment. This is where you put your clothes, but not your clothes. You see what I'm saying? I got my little toiletry bag in there, speaker in there. So right now, we've got two electronic devices. I just want y'all to know, for all of the critics out there, <laughs> yeah, it's like that. So boom, I ain't gonna get to the best part. We ain't even get to the juicy part yet. We ain't even get to the juicy part, boom. So boom, now that brings us to the main bag. So the main bag is really built like a suitcase. I don't think I can see it, but it's really built like a suitcase. So this is the close-up, bro. This is the close-up. It's packed and it's like built like a suitcase. You see what I'm saying? It's built like a suitcase. Like a small suitcase. And you get all your drip in there. You can see how many shirts just off the rip. One, two, three, four, five. That's five shirts, bro. And I got more because you know it's hidden. Six. Seven, shorts, one, got them in the bottom. I showed you I got a short, shorts up front, they everywhere. But yeah, you can fit a bunch of stuff in here. If you look at my video before the airplane, it's perfect because this, oh, got my drawers, <laughs> got my drawers. Because this, it gets super condensed when you lock it all up. You got these handles, you can lock it all up. They're not getting that money from you. I'm on a mission. No giving free money to airlines, bro. I'm gonna start the campaign. You're not giving any extra money to airlines. They got enough money, bro. We're gonna continue on the devices and boom. This time I got an electronic device. I got my drone. Thought I broke it. I got my drone. Boom. See? Charger. Boom. We have the three devices now. Undergarments, clothes. What more y'all want in the back? This way, I'm saving tons of money on traveling. I'm not joking. I'm saving tons of bag money operating like this. Now, of course, this is going to help you out for three, four days. If you nice four days, or really three, it's going to do three, but three days, you're going to be able to fit six fits in here. You're going to be able to fit six fits in here. So, so far guys, everything is chill. Everything is working how it should be working. I'm not having any problems. The only problem I had was when I came in, it was a little hard to find a place. And I recommend for any Airbnb, you know, you go take a stroll on Google Maps. Go stroll around the neighborhood on Google Maps. If you have a hard time seeing how the place looks, you might want to shoot your, you might want to shoot your host an email. Can you give me step-by-step -step directions on how to arrive to the Airbnb? Go ahead and shoot them that message. You might save yourself 15, 20 minutes. Cause I was actually outside with the taxi driver. We calling, yo, 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 where this place at? He gave, he gave directions, but if we had that from the jump, it'd have been easy to find, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? You save yourself 10, 15 minutes doing it like that. Got a little hidden door in here. This is where you stash the bodies at. This is where you stash the bodies at. So all in all guys, it's a pretty simple place. You know, when I look for Airbnbs, I look for simplicity. I look for a good price. I look for a good place, you know what I'm saying? Not in a bad area, not, you know what I'm saying, too low because then you're gonna get a, just, a, just a crappy hotel. Probably, people probably get, who knows what happens in them hotels. <laughs> not too low. I ain't hit the $15, $20 range, but a nice, Bargainable price was like 30 cash. That's kind of the area I'm looking for when I'm doing these solo trips. I'm not in this room. You guys will never see this room again because I'm gone. I'm out of here. I'm about to hit the streets and I will not be returning to this room until at most nine o'clock. At most. Just to change and go back out because my trips are usually short. I come, I see, I conquer, and I go back home. <laughs> So it doesn't make sense for me to be buying a luxury hotel or luxury Airbnb because it's usually for short travels. So I usually look for, like I said, good area, decent looking place. This place, I actually felt like I got a pretty 
good size. Like I'm actually blown away by how big this place is for the $32 a night I paid. I don't know how well you guys will be able to see it from the video, but the place is pretty huge and you know, it's kind of loft style. So you definitely feel that space. Yeah guys, I think we got everything done. We need to get in here. I'm gonna leave the details to this Airbnb down below. Before you go, man, if you like these tours, if you like these little glimpses into what a budget Airbnb looks like, what a budget um, travel type, what a budget hotel looks like, go ahead, like, subscribe, bro. I'm bringing it all to you, bro. So if you skeptical, you like, I don't know if I can stay in a $30 Airbnb. I don't know if I can go that low. Look, I'm doing it for you. I'm here. I'm here for your service, bro. I got y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting my life on the line so we could do this together, me and you. So look, go ahead, man, subscribe, and we're gonna rock out. So I'm gonna see you guys in a minute. We heading to the beach. Let's do it. Also, you gotta watch out for the little flies. So make sure all your doors and windows are closed. Make sure they're closed. 